Hello and welcome to Cricket Happenings, dear friends and subscribers. On this part of the cricket show, it's only about Bangladesh winning the T20 series against the West Indies at Lauder Hill in Florida by the Duckwood Lewis method because of rain over there as Bangladesh won the match by 19 runs. It was led by, so since it is just one match, I am definitely not going to do any summary and uh, I'm just going to dive into a full match report. Uh, sort of a match summary, I could say. <coughs> and let's hear uh, as to what happened here uh, in the United States of America at Lauder Hill in Florida. So Bangladesh and West Indies were taking on the decider uh, and uh, it was a very important match for both the teams. And it was Bangladesh were the victors. And uh, by doing so, they have won both the ODI series and the T20 series. Uh, so definitely after the reverses that they suffered in the Test series, they have come back very, very strong. So well done, Bangladesh. So Bangladesh were the ones who actually elected to bat first after winning the toss. They opened with Lytton Das and Tamim Iqbal. And Lytton Das was literally given the license uh, to go for his strokes. And what an innings from Lytton Das. He really, really lit up the, Lauder, uh, lit up the uh, stadium here uh, in the States at Lauder Hill in Florida. When he started smacking the ballers, the power play overs were absolutely rammed. In four overs, uh, in Lytton Das and Tami Mikbal had set up an electric start to the Bangladesh innings. As in 4.4 overs, <coughs> they had added 61 runs. So you could just imagine the way they were hitting the ball. And the advantage for Bangladesh was that they decided both these batsmen, especially Lytton Das, decided to go against the West Indian spinners. Samuel Battery from one end, Ashley Nurse from the other, and they were smacked to the tune of 64 runs. I mean, it was tremendous stuff according to me because Lytton Das, as I said, was litting up the Lauder Hill crowd here in the United States by hitting some wonderful strokes. He was swinging, he swung um, Nurse into the uh, spectators for two glorious sixes. Uh, he also hit one six, um, I think it was over the long on region. Uh, Tommy McBall was screaming boundaries and suddenly this innings was really proceeding uh, at, at, at a screeching pace. And it was going on. Lytton Das and Tommy McBall were really, really hurting the West Indian bowlers in the power play as the 50 had come up in just four overs. And, uh, and as the score reached 61, West Indies got a bit of relief as Tummy Mikbal fell uh, in the fifth over as Brathwaite was the one uh, who actually brought an end to this particular very, very punishing partnership. When Tummy actually left all his stumps and he was trying to scoop the delivery over the short fine leg region, uh, but uh, basically the ball actually popped up and Kesrick Williams settled under it nicely. So that was the wicket number one. Uh, for Bangladesh, uh, uh, so Bangladesh losing the first wicket, the score on 61 uh, in 4.4 overs. Lytton Das was still going strong uh, at that stage as Somia Sarkar joined him. So after the power play, we definitely saw a bit of an ebb as Kimo Paul uh, nipped out the wicket of the out-of-form Somia Sarkar. It was very cleverly bowled by Kimo Paul. It was a back-of-the-hand stuff, a slower delivery. Somia uh, Sarkar uh, went for a big swing. He wanted to hit it over the bowler's head, but uh, it hit the outside edge. Roman Powell uh, at the boundary was uh, was coming under it and he took a very neat catch. So Samia Sarkar gone, caught Powell bowled Paul for five or four balls with one four. So that made the score 66 for two uh, in the sixth over. Uh, Mushfiqur Rahim joined uh, Litton Das uh, who was still going strong at that stage, as uh, and he also passed his 50, and this was a little less uh, maiden 50 uh, in T20 matches. Uh, Mushfiqur Rahim was the next to go, and uh, that would have been a mighty relief for the West Indians, because as you know, Mushfiqur Rahim has always been a thorn for the West Indies, and it was Brathwaite who actually uh, got this. It was a soft dismissal, uh, that was basically an angle delivery from Brathwaite, 
uh, Mushfiqur wanted to give himself room but uh, because of the quickness of the delivery he was cramped for space and uh, he at the last moment he changed his, uh, uh, changed his uh, style he wanted to dab it down to third man uh, but, uh, but as I said the ball was pretty quick the ball hit the glove and went into the gloves of the wicket keeper Ramadin and Mushfiqur Rahim was walking back to the pavilion caught Ramadin bowl Brathwaite for 12 or 14 deliveries with 1-4 and now West Indies were really getting on as 97 for 3 uh, became 102 for 4 uh, in the 11th over when Lytton Das after being in punitive mood against the West Indians finally uh, gave away his wicket as uh, he was trying to chip the ball over the cover region uh, but Nurse was the one who came into the middle and took the catch uh, and uh, he was gone. So Lytton Das after doing immense damage to the West Indian bowlers after making 61 of just 32 deliveries which included 6 fours and 3 sixes departed. 102 for 4, Shaky Bilasan contributed um, uh, 24 runs to the good of 22 balls and 2 fours before a slower ball on the off stump uh, had him as a victim as he wanted to a slog the delivery and uh, nurse at uh, deep backward square leg made no mistake. Shaky Blesson gone, caught nurse bowled Paul for 24 of 22 deliveries, two fours. And then Mahmudullah, Mahmudullah is a good finisher. Uh, looking at the score when Shaky Blesson left the score at 146 for five, uh, it was uh, Shaky Hassan uh, who actually uh, uh, took the Bangladesh score uh, to a very good score of 184 for five by smacking an unbeaten 32 of 20 deliveries, 4-4s four and 1-6. Adi Fulak was not out of an 18 of 16 with 1-4 and Bangladesh uh, sat on a very good score uh, of 184 for 5. Uh, really, really entertaining the Lauder Hill, Florida crowd. As far as the bowling was concerned, Badri, uh, 3 overs, none for 23. Uh, Ashley Nurse, 3 overs, none for 31. Got smacked by the uh, Bangladeshi uh, pair of Litton Das and Tamim Iqbal, especially by Litton Das. Andre Russell bowled three overs, club for 36 runs without a wicket. Brathwaite, I thought, uh, bowled with some very good respectability. Three or four overs, no made in 232. Kimo Paul, uh, three overs, 296. And Casey Williams, four overs, no made in one for 32. So West Indians were given a target now of 155 runs to win uh, because of the rain actually interrupting play. And uh, they had to get the uh, revised target. There was a revised target which was uh, given to them. Uh, 155 to win from 17.1 overs. So let's have a look at how the West Indies fared. So West Indies started off, there was um, a, a few boundaries coming in from Walton's bat. Uh, Walton, uh, uh, Walton went after the Bangladeshi uh, pace bowlers by driving them for boundaries. Uh, and the other end, Andre Fletcher's wicket was gone. Mustafizur Rahman. Uh, took three wickets. In fact, he picked up the wicket of Andre Fletcher, giving them an early breakthrough as uh, the ball was uh, outside the yon stamp and uh, it was an uppy shot from uh, Andre Fletcher and uh, the ball settled uh, under the throat uh, of deep point and Fletcher was gone. Caught Nazmul Islam, bowled Mustafa Rahman for six of seven balls. That was wicket number one. The score read 26, all thanks in the main to uh, Shadwick Walton. Uh, who was uh, hitting a few boundaries. Samuels came in and Samuels was done in by a superb delivery, I thought, uh, from, uh, uh, from Shaky Bilasan. Uh, it was a stock delivery from the left arm spinner and that was the one which goes with the arm. So basically, um, uh, he wanted to, Samuels wanted to uh, just uh, whip it away, uh, but the ball went and crashed into the middle stump. And Marlon Samuels was walking bold, Shakib Lassan for two, and that was a big wicket uh, for the Bangladeshis. Uh, so Samuels was gone, and to complicate matters, Shadwick Walton, uh, who was actually in, um, uh, was actually stroking the ball well, fell as he attempted uh, um, a heave uh, of the balling of Samia Sarkar, the military medium pacer, uh, and uh, the ball was not quite coming out of the bat, and it was uh, Sabi Rahman, the substitute, who picked up the catch and Walton was gone, caught Sabi Rahman bowl, Somia Sarkar uh, after making 19 uh, of as many balls with uh, three boundaries. So that and score um, uh, was 32 for three uh, in the seventh over. Now we had two new batsmen at the crease, Roman Powell at one and Dinesh Ramadan at the other and they've tried to uh, consolidate things for the West Indies 
at uh, with a score on 32 for three in the six overs, uh, it was uh, uh, absolutely in contrast uh, to what uh, Bangladesh had done uh, in the earlier part of the innings. And uh, Roman Pavel and Dinesh Ramadan uh, had a job of consolidation, and they did it. They they decided to bide their time at the crease, uh, and they were a bit watchful as well uh, at the time, but uh, making sure that they were not losing the wickets as um, it was uh, the spinners were into the operation. Um, um, uh, that was the time when Soumya Sarkar and Shakib Lahsan uh, took advantage uh, of uh, this uh, situation of the West Indies uh, to really, really plug the runs uh, as much as possible. Uh, and they did it um, uh, to a very good extent, uh, one thought. Uh, but then uh, finally the wicket fell. Ramadan, after making 21 uh, of 18 delves, 1 4 and 1 6, fell a victim to the bowling of Rubel Hussain. He was clean bowled. Uh, he got an inside edge. He played on, I would say. He wanted to whip the ball, um, uh, you know, uh, through the uh, leg side. Uh, but instead, uh, it was his stumps which got whipped. Uh, Ramadan bowled Rubel Hussain for 21. Uh, the score read 77 for 4 uh, with Roman Powell now uh, the next victim in the 14th over uh, when Mustafa Rahman came back into his spell uh, and picked up uh, the wicket uh, of Roman Powell and that was also would have been a big wicket because Roman Powell can really hurt you and it was a crucial breakthrough uh, as uh, Powell was trying to pull the delivery from Mustafa Rahman uh, and the ball hit the bottom part of the bat went high into the air, Abu Heather settled under it and Powell was gone. Caught Abu Heather bowled Mustafa Zurayman, 23 of 20 deliveries with two fours, the score read 96 for five and in walked then the man of the moment, Andre Russell. So Andre Russell and Brathwaite were at either side of the crease and this was the time uh, Brathwaite was, uh, uh, Brathwaite was uh, just a silent spectator as Andre Russell started an onslaught on the Bangladeshi bowlers to totally, totally uh, start transforming the game slowly. And uh, Andre Russell was really pinging sixes at absolute will as he was clubbing sixes uh, in, in such a furious fashion. And uh, three of his sixes uh, that he hit uh, was sent over the mid-wicket region. He went after Rubel Hussain. Uh, hit him for three sixes over the mid-wicket region and then he also had a shot over long on for a six and Andre Russell was dealing in absolute sixes and he was one man who could have taken the game away from the Bangladeshis and he was slowly doing that he was uh, uh, slowly getting into that mode and that was the time Brathwaite's wicket was nipped up by Abu Heather as I uh, got a top edge trying to pull a short ball uh, and it was the end of Carlos Bradfield for 5-10 deliveries but Andre Russell was still doing the hitting and Mustafa Zurayman uh, was hit for a boundary, he's hit for a 6 and then Andre Russell uh, in trying to um, definitely I mean that was the way to uh, because the run rate was really spiraling they really needed somebody like Andre Russell to lay back to ball uh, on every occasion but Andre Russell was trying to do that uh, and, uh, and this would have been the best wicket that Bangladesh got and this would have made them believe that yes, now this uh, T20 series was within their grasp. As Russell's wicket was taken, Mustafa Zurayman uh, bowled a full toss. Now this was not a good delivery at all, but Andre Russell in the mood was trying to hoist him uh, into the crowd uh, and uh, but in, on in the um, but on the other hand, uh, this ball went to Ariful Huck, who was stay, who was just inches away from the boundary, and he picked up the catch. And Andre Russell uh, caught Ariful Huck ball, Mustafa Zurayman for 47 of 21 balls, one four and six six of the turning point of the game, and that was it for the West Indies. As um, as I said, the target was 155. And the West Indies finished off at 135 for 7 in 17.1 overs uh, with Ashley Nurse not out on not. And that was the end of the game with uh, Bangladesh winning the T20 series against West Indies 2-0. And they would be mighty pleased with this effort as on this tour they lost the test matches but they came back very strong to first clinch the ODI series and now they have taken the T20 series 
and I think Bangladesh have definitely achieved their aim. But one knows for Bangladesh, it's all about winning test matches, which is a question mark right now. But other than that, uh, they, I mean, they, were, they, they, have, they have been doing well in ODIs, there's no doubt about it. But T20s was something that they were a bit lagging behind. But I thought with this particular series win against the West Indies, uh, they have definitely uh, getting into the T20 mode as well. And congratulations to the Bangladesh cricket team. As far as the bowling is concerned, Abu Heather, 3 overs, 1 for 27. Rubel Hussain, 4 overs, 1 for 28. For a, for a, for a change, I thought Rubel Hussain's bowling uh, was uh, good on this occasion. Mustafa Zerayman, 3.1 overs, no maiden, 3 for 31. Uh, Mustafa Zerayman, I have to say that um, uh, he was more like an economy bowler when he started off. But of late, when I've seen that Mustafa Zerayman has started leaking a lot of runs, uh, but he has been picking up wickets. Nasbun Islam, uh, for some unfortunate reason, bowled three deliveries to end here to go off uh, with an injury. Soumya Sarkar uh, uh, filled up uh, that breach of Nasbun Islam uh, exceedingly well. 2.3 overs, no made in 1 for 18. Shaki Blasen, 4 overs, 1 for 22. Did a wonderful job. And the tour of West Indies, the Bangladesh tour of the West Indies, came to a halt at the United States uh, of America as um, uh, the, it, it came to an end with uh, Bangladesh winning the series. 2-1 and the player of the match going to Lytton Das who lit up the Laurel Hill Florida crowd today and the player of the series going to none other than the Bangladeshi captain Shaki Bahil Hassan. Well dear fans and subscribers I said there's nothing to talk about it was all about Bangladesh winning the T20 series and uh, that's about it as far as today's cricket show goes. Hope you all enjoyed it well you can always uh, uh, go on to my Twitter page uh, and try to catch up with my tweets, which I always do after every match uh, that, I'm, that that is going on. And you would all know that, dear friends of crime. But uh, those who don't know it, those who are probably watching my Cricket Happening show for the first time, uh, reach out there, dear friends and subscribers. Uh, friends subscribers, if you're so crazy about the game as I do, uh, you would really, really enjoy uh, this uh, wonderful conversation that I have on Twitter uh, with all my cricket tweets. Well, dear fans and subscribers, it's about time for me uh, to sign off this on my daily cricket show uh, and I hope to see you all tomorrow on my next cricket broadcast. Uh, until then, it's goodbye.